During his presidential run, Joe Biden campaigned on forgiving billions of dollars in federal student loans. And that promise seemingly came to fruition when the White House announced a plan to forgive up to $20,000 for many borrowers back in August. Those plans have come to a halt for now. I spoke to a professor at Chico State who explained why. The Missouri court, which is the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeal, Appeals, uh, decided that it is unconstitutional for the Biden administration to issue the loan forgiveness. And so their argument is that they will lose on state tax revenue by this plan going through. The students get their loans forgiven. They're not able to receive the interest income on those loans. Professor Arbogast is talking about the Missouri Higher Education Loan Authority, or MOHALA. It services nearly $170 billion in student loans in the Show Me State, according to its financial statements. The Missouri State Treasury receives money from the organization, according to a CNBC report. Missouri is one of six Republican-led states suing the Biden administration on grounds that forgiveness will hurt state economies and loan service organizations like MOHALA. Fortunately for many Chico State students, debt is not nearly as much of an issue as it is at other institutions. The average graduate here leaves school with around $6,000 in debt, the lowest in California. But for those still struggling, there are still options to pay off loans or have them forgiven. So if you are in maybe that $10,000 range and you think maybe these student loans will be forgiven, uh, if you've made any payments during the last year while the student loan payment pause has been in effect, you can apply for a, a refund of those payments you made, and then you might see whether or not the loan forgiveness goes through. That's an option. Uh, or you can just try to pay them down now while the interest rate is zero. You can go to studentaid.gov, which is the federal website for managing student loans, and you can choose a repayment plan. Public service occupations like the military or nursing also have loan forgiveness plans. As for Biden's plan, the case could possibly be taken to the Supreme Court, but remains stalled for now. I'm Anwar Stetson for the North States News.